Hello everybody and welcome back to Silver Run Forest here in Farming Simulator 22 where I woke up this morning with some very disappointing news that we already have a $200,000 loan which I didn't know about when we started. Uh, I thought we had $500,000 to call on but we only have $300,000 because there's already a, a $200,000 overdraft. But anyway, um, I woke up also with the feeling there's a bit of an elephant in the room here with these two um, very expensive forestry machines because we're starting from scratch and we have these two very expensive machines. But when you look into it, um, I just want to go to how much it costs to rent these things per day because we can't buy them yet. We do have to rent them. Let's see how much it is. So we have the Volvo EC38, oh, I don't know what it's called, but to rent this, we had, oh, we don't have enough money. Okay, fine. But I happen to know that it's about $4,000 to rent it. This one over here is about $4,000 a day to rent, and per hour it's $8,000. And it's the same sort of price with this um, Volvo High Lift here. Um, so basically, we pay what's well eight thousand dollars a day to rent both machines and if they tick over into another hour it's eight thousand dollars now this machine we've used for 0 0.2 hours and the other machine is the same so you know they just need to earn their money each day and things will be fine now talking about earning money we yesterday bought the sawmill up here we own this sawmill up here uh, this is why we don't have much money because <laughs> we bought the sawmill and um, but we've, we've put no wood in it so the first thing to do today is jump in this beast turn it on and cut down some trees um, to, uh, and I also need to go and get a timber timber runner because I cannot put wood in a container and take it to the sawmill and put it in the water there it doesn't work so what I need is a sorry I can't do this I'm just trying to concentrate on this tree what I need is a timber runner but first of all let's cut down a few trees this is the fun bit so have I done it I don't think I've done it now I've done it fine okay let's swing it round and just to, just to be sure yeah we've still got six meter cuts so all right let's cut it and all this wood is now going to be going to the sawmill on a timber runner, which I have to buy and I have to borrow the money for. So it should be about, I don't know, three or four trees. So I'll cut down this one over here. It's just, uh, no, I'll, I'll cut down this one in front of me. That makes more sense, doesn't it? Okay, let's do a bit more of a close-up. Okay, go down and cut. Okay, swing it out. Yep. Okay, not perfect. I don't want to scrape my machine, but uh, there we go. Brilliant. Okay, that might be enough wood already, but I'm just going to do a couple more trees. Okay, well, here's the last lot to go in, and I hope it will go in as well. I've, I'll keep learning things about forestry when I'm doing this, because we should cut our wood into much longer lengths if we're just taking it to the sawmill. Uh, we should cut it into much longer lengths because it doesn't matter if it's it's in six meter lengths for the sawmill. It can be any old bits of wood, can't it? Uh, so let's see if we can just tip it in. Go down a bit and tip it in. And I think we have a full lorry. So let's get out and get in the truck and strap it all down. I think that's the most important thing and make our way to the sawmill. I know the, I know the way to get there. I didn't know it yesterday, but I know it today. And um, so I just want to say actually that um, I'm always tempted to use uh, Super Strength and the Lumberjack mod to cut things down. But I don't want to do that on this map. I want to do it properly um, because, you know, on, on, on other maps, forestry is like a peripheral thing and a secondary thing on this map it's the primary thing you know there's no um 
there's no grain mills or bakeries or anything on this map it's all about wood everything is about wood so I want to do it properly and not not just cheat basically so I'm going to keep those machines and somehow I'm going to pay for them and one of the ways is hopefully by producing things in the sawmill and I also want to buy the paper mill as well which is 130,000 and I'm prepared to uh, borrow the money for it um, so once we've got another full um, timber runner of wood like this I'm going to buy the paper mill and start making stuff in there because the more productions the better okay I'll see you at the sawmill so here we are I think this is the way in yes it is I can see the water there <laughs> which fills my heart with dread a little bit because because of what happened yesterday when we tried to put a, a container of wood into the water but this time I think I'm justified in using super strength if I need to uh, so let's back in let's just uh, oh, this is heavy right then let's reverse in and once we're in the water I'll just unstrap it all and hopefully it will just go in and, and disappear I don't know what's going to happen okay I have to drive deeply into the water don't I right some wood has come off do you know what I'm going to use super strength to, to chuck it in the water because otherwise it's going to take all day we're going to be here all day <laughs> so uh, just I, I'm, I'll I'll start doing this I'll just skip to the end after I've done it all all right here's the last few bits and they kind of either disappear or just float around and uh, this is all a bit mad isn't it <laughs> I don't know what else to do really I can't get them to go in and, and disappear they should just disappear when you when you go back into the water this isn't very easy uh, easy either it's supposed to be easy to do this anyway that's enough of me moaning <laughs> but this is just a bit mad I don't know right then let's have a look at our production uh, our productions so this is the only production we have at the moment so we want let me just look up what we need for the um, the boatyard so the boatyard needs planks, planks long, which is producing, wood beam, and we also want these prefab walls to be producing because they're worth a lot of money, like $10,000 each. Um, let's just have a look, actually, at the, at the value of prefab uh, walls at the moment. Yeah, prefab wall is here, $10,000. Actually, it's a pretty good price now because February... Oh, it's September. Oh, September is the... Yeah, okay. So $10,000. So let's make our way back to the the farm. Um, now, I'd like to plough in a field on the farm. We have a tractor, and I need to go and get a plough. And what's the way out? This way? Yeah. Now, I'm just thinking to myself, I don't, I'm not sure if there's precision farming on this map, but if there is and we plough in a little field and we have like a hundred percent rating on the little field does that mean that we then get ten percent you know more on it, everything that we sell I hope it does because if we just if that's it's, if it's as easy as that then it's well worth me ploughing in the field I need to do it anyway to oops need to do it anyway for grass for the sheep I'll see you back at the farm I think these two yellow machines we have here need to be earning their keep every day and I think earning their keep like yesterday we sold a container of wood for fifty thousand dollars and I think we need to do that every day and I'd like to go do that on the train today if we can um, do a container of wood and put it on the train and, and get it sold to Elm Creek that would be fun <laughs> so let's just get things out of the way a little bit because I want to plow in a field here not a big field quite a small field but just for grass for the sheep because this is kind of synthetic grass we have at the moment and not quite the right thing oh 
Okay, so this is everything off the field. Now we just need to find ourselves ourselves a plough. So let's have a look for ploughs. This one. Yeah. Nine metres, please. The big one. Uh, I don't actually. I just want to. Yeah, I just rent it. Okay. Let's get our fanzelt. Is that what it's called? Fanzelt. Yeah. Which I like. I'd like to pay for this uh, tractor because um, we're probably. Well, we haven't used it much at the moment, but this is probably the thing that we will use quite a lot now we're dealing with sheep and stuff. But um, I'd like to pay for everything. <laughs> but I, have, I do have three collectibles to find. But anyway, let's let's go and get the the plough first of all. Now, I was just doubting whether uh, precision farming is, a, is actually a thing on this map. Uh, but um, if I just stop the tractor, if we look at the map and we look at these fields and I click on this you can see it, it tells you about all the the loamy sand and the sandy loam in the field info here so that must mean that precision farming is a, is a thing so that's fine so let's um, find out where we could start our, on on our on our land I'll probably just start around about here I think this is our this is our land and make sure we have yeah allow create fields yeah Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm a bit scared. I don't know why. Okay, let's put it down and let's start. about that $200,000 loan that we've got. I thought we had $500,000 to spare, but we haven't. We've got $300,000 to spare. Well, not anymore, because we bought something, didn't we? But uh, I think that's a bit much, actually. It always used to be that you you'd, you start off with $500,000 and you'd have a loan you could call on the $500,000. But not anymore. So, anyway, this is quite a nice size field I think it's just going to be grass I'm not going to do crops in here I'm just going to have grass for the animals for the sheep um, I don't want that synthetic grass so let's analyze it let's go to um, precision farming and where's the field we just made here okay so can we analyze it I'm pressing select and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. I think what I'll do is go and get one of those Azaria Scouts. I've got uh, a super shank on. I'll get one of those Azaria Scouts and see if that works. And if it doesn't work, I'll get my money back. <laughs> um, because I'd like to analyze the field and see what it's made out of, but I couldn't do it just now. I've, I've had a few glitches on this map, but uh, you know, teething problems. But anyway, I'll go and get the Azaria Scout, very bumpy. And I'll see you back here. Okay, I just uh, accidentally analysed the sheep at the same time when I was doing this. I hope it doesn't make them go radioactive or something. <laughs> or, you know, maybe it tells us what they're made out of. Mo mostly wool, I would have thought. 90%. Okay, let's um, fold it up. And let's analyse. Yeah. Okay, so we d we have an answer. Let's have a look. Yeah, so pretty good. No silty clay, loam here, and sandy loam here. So a very healthy Pacific Northwest little field. Um, so I'm pleased about this, and we, we have an env environmental score of 50. So the next thing to do, well, the first thing to do is to send this back. Actually, do you know what? The next thing to do is to find some collectibles. Now, I do know where there are some. Mainly two of them because of Dagoin <laughs> and one of them because of myself. So I'm going to go to the bottom of this um, 
this lake that looks like Australia. Let me just uh, find my way there. Okay, here we are. And there's like a white sort of uh, uh, canopy here. And just in the forest, just here, is a little deer. Fantastic. So, the other one, there's two more. And I hope it's not cheating, but I did see it on a Dagobin video. There's one at the mine here, which is it's just set in a mine south of here. So if I go to the mine and I make my way, I'll, I'll make my way there and I'll see you when I get there. Yeah, here we are. And uh, thanks, Dagoin. <laughs> okay, and the other one is on the road just about here. So uh, I'll make my way there as well. So you have to go to the paper factory, actually, which is down there, and then come up this track. And then it's pretty obvious because it's just over the road. Just here. So we've found seven collectibles so far. Uh, now what we need to do is to go back to our farm. And I will do the slurry actually. And then we'll, we'll find something else to do. But I want to raise the slurry on here because pH value bad, nitrogen value bad. So let's go and get a slurry spreader and see if this tractor can handle it. I need to know how much per hour this tractor is because I have a feeling it's quite a lot. And um, and also, uh, let's just fold things up. I need to pay for the slurry. So let's just go to power tools and uh, it will be $1,200 because I had two fill-ups at $600 each. Um, and I think that's his field done. Let's just check on it on here. Uh, where's our field? Down here. So go to this and go to nitrogen. And yeah, I think it's all done. So let's send... We won't need the slurry uh, spreader at all for anything. So let's send it back. We've had it for 0 0.1 hours. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> now, I might have been a bit hasty making this field this big because... Is it switched off? No, it isn't. That's costing us money when it's switched on. Actually, I was just going to check, wasn't I, to see how much the the um, the tractor is costing us per hour. Per hour, $7,077. Okay. I would like these machines here to be paying for themselves. I would like to do a container of wood and take it on the train. So I think we can drive on the field. I think that's fine. So let's get in here. We already have some wood in here. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's put things on the field. It's fine. It's a bit lumpy, but that's okay. We need to do the lime next. And then uh, we need to sow the grass in here, I suppose. So let's get in this machine. And I'll put this on a bit of a time lapse. But um, where should we start? I'm not sure. Uh, I'll go over here and start, I think, because there's some big trees over here. So, um, But now, when we when we put the trees on the field, we can find them because there's no grass. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll see you when I get over there. <laughs> this is very slow. Okay, some nice big trees over here. So let's get attached. Let's lower it down and do some forestry. I think it's full. I think it... Oh, not quite. Yeah, I'm touching it against it. It's, it looks completely full to me now. So I think that's the last bit. It's taken a long time to do this, actually. I think I might have to um, alternate between super strength and doing it this way. But uh, it's just you get used to, have to get used to the machines, I think, because uh, I, I haven't done much forestry before. And I, do, I do quite enjoy it, but it, it is quite time consuming. But having said that, we should get a lot for this because this is all six metre lengths in here. There's no short length. So um, I'm looking forward to putting it on the train, actually. And I happen to know that there is a very nice Volvo front loader at the train station we can use to get this off of the 
uh, off of the low loader and onto the train. So um, I won't record the journey, but I'll just see you once we get to the train. Okay, here we are at the train station. Not far to come, actually. Very short journey. Um, and I can see... I think that's a wheel loader, actually, not a front loader. So, okay, so we need to... Well, I'll put this just in front here of the wheel loader so it doesn't have much to do. And just park it up. And we need to go and call the train, I think. So let's uh, actually put the help menu on and go and call the train. So, yeah, rent train. Okay, fine. While it's coming, I will pick up, I'll jump in here, I'm allowed to use it, and get this container off the back of the lorry. And, well, make our way over here, I suppose. I'm pretty sure that we... Well, we'll have to load up here, won't we? We can't, we can't go up there, so... All right. Let's just uh, wait for the train to come. Aha! Here it comes. You can see it speeding down the line. Brilliant. Is it going to stop? I hope it stops. I think it's stopping, yeah. Uh, okay. Alright, I think I might need to drive this, so... Um, yeah, we need to line it up so we can put our container on it. So, let's just go slowly. Yeah. I think that's alright. Uh, we'll have to stop the traffic. Okay. Let's put the let's put the container on it. Brilliant. And I think a few straps wouldn't hurt here, so and there and there and one here. I can get there yeah okay all right I'm stuck <laughs> all right let's take the train this way I think this way which way to Elm Creek it's probably either way isn't it yeah okay let's go this way This is a lovely train. Look how it is like all really old fashioned, but I hope they have these kind of trains in the Pacific Northwest because I, I just think I'd need to move there actually. Because <laughs> giant sequoias, really old fashioned trains. Let's go inside and see what it looks like. It's like train symbol, isn't it? Only just a bit easier to drive, I suppose. And how far, sorry about the collisions. This is fantastic. I love this. And I wonder how much we'll get for all that wood. It's all six metre length, so we should get a good amount. Okay. 42,000? We got 50,000 yesterday for... Uh, <laughs> that's disappointing. Um, I wonder if... I just want to check, actually, to see how where the best price for wood is. Just here, the best price for wood is the container wa uh, warehouse at Elm Creek. It's not too bad. Oh, I'm a bit disappointed. I thought we'd get more. <sighs> anyway, I'm all out of time. So thanks very much for watching today. And uh, we've got quite a lot done. We will be, at, be through to the next day in the next episode because I like to start afresh each day. And um, we've got 192,000, which isn't bad. So anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye for now.